Hey everyone, this is PJ from Deverlate, and today we're going to talk about DAML, the asset modeling language people are using to manage smart contracts. A few things before we get started. DAML has its own IDE, so there's no need to worry about creating a space for DAML. When getting started after this tutorial, there's a sandbox that lets you try out different ideas for smart contracts. DAML, finally, has a CLI assistant to make everything a bit easier, but all that's for later. Let's take a look at the project and get started with the tutorial. So to begin, we're going to go through a little bit of a DAML tutorial to see how easy it is. We head over to DAML.com slash learn. And since we're at the beginning, we'll do getting started with DAML. There are three parts, and we'll start with the first part. We're going to build and run a DAML application. It should take about 20 minutes, but we're going to go through a little bit more quickly so that you can get set up and get ready to go. To get started, there's a brief video on the kind of the IDE and things, but we're going to start a brief scenario. The thing I like about this tutorial is the folks over at DAML have shown us everything and provided us with everything that we need to make this happen. We have two terminal windows, we have an IDE, we have a browser to look at the UI to understand what the interface is going to look like. To get started, we'll run these first couple of commands. We'll create a new DAML project. As you hit enter in the tutorial, it's going to enter right into the terminal, which is fantastic. Of course, we're going to move into our directory in order to get started. We're not going to worry about being notified for updates just yet, but for right now, we'll focus on the tutorial and click continue. Our next step is to build the demo project itself, which is a DAR file. If you're familiar with JAR files, it's very familiar. It's kind of a compressed file that's used to build the actual project. Nice, quick, straightforward, and we're already halfway. Step three of six. DAML does provide a code generator tool, and we're gonna include that as well, and we're gonna click here to just run the command. Generate it quickly, very similar, if you're familiar with Ruby on Rails, it's kind of like a, a bundle install or a Rails up kind of command. We're now going to move over to the UI and install Yarn. Yarn is a, a JavaScript uh, dependency handler. We'll fast forward a little bit over this. So we have our Yarn, Yarn installed done, and we're going to move ahead to the next step. Running the actual DAML ledger, we're going to create the app, and we're going to click DAML Start. Really quick, really straightforward, it starts to build a server. So right now it's, it's compiling the code to DAR files. It's going to start a sandbox issue for us, which is really useful to, for development. It already has our DAR file loaded up, so we're ready to go. And then it starts a server for the JSON API, which is really what we need to interact with. You'll notice in the tutorial it automatically jumps to Terminal 2, so it's not interfering with your first terminal window. Back in that first terminal window, we will do yarn start in order to get the, the file running into the browser. Now we'll click on the UI and see if it's ready to go. You, you might see the port error issue. That's okay. Click try again and you should see your DAML app created. We'll hit continue over here and look at a little bit about using the application. We'll follow some of the example information in order to log in and see how things go. Now that we're ready to go, we can step through the last few directions, add some people from LinkedIn and see if we're ready to use DAML. We've completed our first getting started guide. Uh, we're ready to join the forum and talk to the community and see what we can really do with DAML. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We should have some more coming soon, getting more into DAML and some other things. Uh, it's smart contracts, it's open source, shift it to the way you need it to be, and we'll talk to you soon.